I have a couple of the Bose CD radios uh, for repair. They both come from Goodwill. I paid less than 20 bucks for each and they have the same problem. And the problem is that when you turn on the power, you have the please wait. Uh, and this uh, continues on for a long time. We'll try to play CD. So let's see what happens. It will take it in. And then all you do is reading disk, reading disk, and then it will start reading it, but it will uh, be choppy. The sound will not come out or sometimes doesn't even read it. But the culprit uh, are little capacitors and especially one of them, which is 22 microfarads, six volt capacitor. And I assume that both of them have the same problem. So what I will do is open them up and uh, replace the one cup, put it together. And then at more convenient time, when I have a little more time, I will replace all of the SMD capacitors for a good quality, probably Panasonic's from DigiKey or some repeatable source or Nikki Hong. Yeah, right now it's not really even reading the disk. Sometimes we'll start reading it and then the sound will be choppy, distorted and choppy. Uh, so it's not doing anything. Okay, well, I'm going to pause it now and uh, open it up. Opening the unit is straightforward. All you do is remove five screws. So there's one, two, three, four, and five. I would recommend uh, removing and replacing the speaker wire foam because this is just about to start falling apart and then it may end up in the CD player. And you can see on the corresponding top part that it left a mark. There's the pieces of that foam already deteriorating. And what I do is use weather strip, uh, like with sticky weather strip. That's either made in USA or some Western country, so that way you don't have to worry about quick uh, deterioration of it. But this is not the primary concern. I will open it up now and show you the culprit. But now you have a lot of old dust. So I'm going to take it to a compressor and blow it off. Once I remove it, so there is a cable for the transformer to be unplugged and the speaker cables which are plugged behind this heat sink. So these I'm going to unplug and remove that top part. Each of the four plugs here at the top part has a little latching tooth which you have to squeeze in order to be able to remove it. So when you see it like this, it will open up and the little tooth will release the plug. And to be able to do it, I'd suggest using uh, needle pliers and go very gentle. Take your time because you don't want to break the cable or break off anything in here. And also the main uh, large plug has the same little tooth. You can see the opening and the same with the output transformer windings. Uh, there is a little latching tooth right here. So once we remove the four, uh, the top will come off. However, you have to be very careful with the ribbon cable that goes into the display. I will disconnect the CD uh, part, which is held by a couple of ribbon cables. One is right here, the brown, and there is the white ribbon cable on the other side. Now the CD assembly has been removed and uh, the culprit capacitor is under the cover right here. Now, this little cover says, do not reuse, but it's, it doesn't make any sense. So you don't have to worry, just lift it up and then put it back together. All these little SMD capacitors, uh, they go bad over time. And I will link a video in the description to another YouTuber who actually measured each and every one of them. And you can see how badly the a equivalent a serious resistance, the ESR, uh, grows over time in those little cups. Uh, so these should actually be all replaced, which I plan to do because I really like this little player. This can be uh, removed, lifted up, and you can see the holes in a couple of these latches on the side and the same on the corresponding other side. So you have to lift them up gently 
uh, without destroying anything and then this will just pop up and the capacitor that's bad is the 22 microfarads uh, the one that I'm pointing out now with my finger 22 microfarad 6 volts that's the one that has to be replaced this is the little cup that has to go and be replaced now notice that everything is very low profile to be able to accommodate the CD from the top uh, so you have to be mindful of the size they cannot be uh, too large uh, of a size so here is a way when you have SMD cups and some throwaway board uh, for spares if you want to remove a cap like this from uh, the board, all you do is grab long nose pliers and uh, grab the cap, just the cap, press it against the board. You don't want to pull it off the board because if you do pull it off, then you risk it destroying the traces. And now you twist it, and as you twist it, the cap will nicely break off and come loose and then you can you can see that this is a uh, nicely detached I'm going to just let it go and now uh, you can see uh, that nothing happened to the traces so we have a little bit we have pins left uh, but i can take soldering iron and clean it up get it ready for the next capacitor so this is the easy way uh, to remove the smd electrolytic capacitors I have removed this cup, gently twisting back and forth, and you can see in a video that I uh, linked to another YouTuber who did it, and it's a delicate process, so you don't want to rip the rip off the PCB traces, uh, you know, in the process. This is an Elna 22 microfarad 16 volts. So I'm going to put it horizontal in place of the old one, just solder it right in. Cup has been replaced, it's soldered in place. And I'm going to put everything back together. The reason for putting it horizontal is so the cover will uh, fit in. Once you have the unit open, I would advise you to gently remove the speakers one by one and then remove that foam. And you can see how this stuff after 20 years, 25 years, just falling apart. And these pieces will end up uh, somewhere in the CD player or on the board. And you really don't want this. This stuff is falling apart. So I'm going to remove that and replace it with weather strip uh, that's new. And this is how much of the old foam uh, came off from the wire. Now the foam is important because when the wire lies on the top, you don't want the wire to buzz against the case when you play louder music. Uh, so I'm going to replace it with fresh foam. The wires have been shrouded with the foam and I put a zip tie at the end so it doesn't unwind on each end and this uh, will be just fine. They should last for another 10-15 years, maybe longer. Now this got nicely clean. I polished the filter, the green filter, cleaned it up. The, it had a little old dust on the inside. Also cleaned up the display here. Now on eBay you can buy, if you want to change the color to charcoal or black, you can actually buy these parts on eBay. They, they are usually used, pulled out from other broken units, but if you want to change from this almond uh, color, whitish to black or darker, you can do so. Now the CD plays perfectly, there's no problem at all. So I'm going to put the top cover with the polished, repolished lenses. So that's what I that's what I did. Unfortunately, this unit has all the controls from the remote, so there's no way to do anything. I'm gonna stop it and uh I check the radio. I don't know if there's any. No, there's not, nothing pre programmed, but. Here you go, it works fine. Everything works. Oh, no, let's just turn it off. Okay. Well, so this is it. If you need have this radio and need it uh, working uh, quickly, 
all you do is just replace that one capacitor and it doesn't take long time but I would not recommend uh, this job to anyone who has not done any soldering in his life uh, because uh, there is a very good likelihood of doing a damage uh, to the trace and then it will be impossible to, to fix it. It will be much, much, much more difficult, especially that there is no schematic for these units. Uh, so this is it. Well, thank you for watching. Give it a thumbs up. Bye-bye.